Dear Blender user, welcome in this new um, tutorial. Um, in this video, uh, we will uh, approach um, the, the um, difficulty of creating um, architectural uh, structure, um, cubic structure like this uh, case. Okay. Um, of course, you can um, uh, do a, a cube and uh, grab. Um, group of cube and uh, make completely by yourself and head made um, this kind of structure but um, you will see it's very difficult because um, often you want to modify the, the, the structure uh, you will have different um, deep of uh, cube and you want to uh, erase sometimes some um, layers of cube and uh, I want to to find a solution um, to um, bring all this um, um, messy work um, uh, much more clear and um, so we're gonna we're gonna try and start start this tutorial so I have here um, a cube okay and um, uh, of course, I can use the array modifier, okay, to do something like this, okay. And uh, after I reuse the array modifier and uh, use it like this, okay. But it's too limited for me, um, uh, and I want to to show you uh, another way. And for this other way, we will use a sort of grid and use uh, the um, dupli vertice to work. I will use um, here my cube are exactly one meter by one meter by one meter and I have here um, a plane of two meter by two meter so if I subdivide it one time I have uh, something like that okay this is my grid and you must work uh, and respect the dimension okay if I go to mesh display here and I um, show lens I have one meter one meter and I must respect this grid I just want to take this one and um, bring it to a child of the grid and on my grid I will uh, um, activate the duplication by vertice and I have now something like this if I just grab one vertice and move it up and move it I have something like that okay so this is not that I want. I want that. Um, I want that um, if, for example, I make an extrude. Okay, I make an extrude. I can press Control to snap. Okay, on the grid, and I can just move by one meter uh, right, and it's work. So, for example, now if I um, choose to extrude. Um, by, for example, 10 meters. I can see the um, the unit uh, just here on the bottom, uh, on the left bottom of the 3D view. And now I have 10 meters. I can just show my length here, 10 meters. So if now I just split by um, nine number of cuts. I have here exactly this one. Okay, so what I want to 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 explain it's I think it's very easy to work. Okay, by um, extruding some elements. Now, for example, this face. Okay, extrude by um, twelve meter. 
okay, now I need to have uh, uh, 11 number of cuts. Yeah. And this is done. And for example, if now um, uh, I need to select this and this one, and I just extrude in O. Oh, I grab it in Z and I want 8 meters. I just do 7 number of cuts here and 7 here. And that's all. And it's very easy to, to work. Okay, we're gonna just see. Um, this. And X and 20 meters, so I need 19 number of cut. I, I, I can also press Ctrl R and press 1 and 9 to have exactly 19. Whoa. Okay, and um, now if I select in face mode, then press C, I just just here select some of uh, some face. And extrude it one meter, okay. One meter more, and it's very easy to work, okay. For example, I um, select this to create uh, a wall. Right here, I extrude. I make uh, plus seven if I oh, oh <laughs> my extra was not was not good. Um, and, uh, and now seven yes exactly. And now I will select this. Let's do one more. And it's done. So now I um, just want to add some point light quickly. Point light, one point light. And, uh, I can let gray shadow in pink. I will do, uh, clone the lamp pressing LD and time, time for time. Shift D to duplicate it and because I want a blue one, I make a blue one here, blue one there, like this. Um, now I just want to add ambient occlusion, multiply with one meter of attenuation distance. Uh, I will save my scene, and um, now I just want to switch render mode. Okay. And where you switch in render mode, okay, the grid object is not um, visible, but you have also uh, the you have the other object visible. So it's very um, easy to work. And um, don't forget that if you now uh, say, oh, okay, this is uh, not the the good. Um, exactly the good uh, thickness, okay? This is a cube, okay? And for example, on this uh, cube, I have just uh, had a modifier um, thickness, okay? So if I change the thickness here, okay? The thickness will change everywhere, okay? So it's completely um, dynamic and uh, very easy to, to work with, okay? So I hope this tutorial uh, will be helpful for you. Um, thank you for watching and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.